Good afternoon, dear participants of the conference. I do not feel okay after this kind of wonderful and interesting presentations. I introduce my small and tiny, not a research, but just a case study about something that happened in our network. Nothing is new here. Many of you sitting here, specialists, will say, so what? But still, I'll introduce my presentation. It was accepted by the organizing committee, for which I express my gratitude. The problem is an old one, quite an old one. And it started in 2007, when many of you know that 16-bit number of AS were not sufficient, and I don't remember if it's uh, RFC. I don't, think, I don't remember if RFC is there. In one of the RFC from 2006, a decision was made to increase the number of uh, AS up to 20. Kind of everything was okay, but you know, 16-bit holder, which uh, was which had the number of two, three, four, five. These are data about AS numbers, and this kind of a thing happened. What I wanted to tell you about. So whatever I'm telling, probably you all know about it. Our science research center, Kazaren, had two links. One from the local provider, Kazakh Telecom, which had the old format, like 16-bit, 91, 92. And we also had Pling by Grant, which we received from the EU, which had new AS, and all these AS was in one router, which was in one of the operation centers in Frankfurt. Pan European Pan European Research Center. And we had a problem. Uh, in main thing main links we had link through Karen. Karen is the intermediary link which had new format. And all our traffic the main link was uh, STM662 megabits and the Kazakh Telecom it was, was almost 100 megabits and when we connected in the 2012 in the beginning of 2012 we found this kind of an unpleasant fact that we sent traffic by our uplink and it comes back by 662 megabits and it comes back through Kazakh Telecom by 100 megabit link And our clients um, complained from the service because there was overloading of the channel. And we started saying, so what's the problem? In the beginning, everything was unclear why it happened. But in a standard way, we saw that the way through Karen, this new AS format, kind of is not being... So they prefer the line through Kazakh Telecom. And accordingly, we we started doing standard actions, but it didn't help us. And 10, 20 AS, and there was no effect. So we found a way out. There's nothing new. We, u we used BGP community, filtration. The only problem was the following, that the channel through Jean, that a, in the European AS, it very often got lost, and we had to automatically set it up. In principle, we managed to solve this problem, but we wondered why it happened. When we started doing the research, manual research, through looking glass, we looked from Europe, from other continents, we found out this kind of a f interesting fact that some intermediary AS, AS's, routers of AS, do not support the new format. And accordingly, they replace number of AS 
the 1971-18. They replaced to the with the placeholder two three five four uh, two three four five six, and it turned out that many when in ISPAD this kind of uh, number increases the routing policy immediately go goes to a very low priority. In fact, the priority, um, the traffic here went through alternative route and uh, which didn't have the placeholder number. So we had to this way to find a way out. Uh, not, not such an elegant way, but still we found it a way out. This is what I wanted to ta talk to you about. So I didn't uh, just invent a wheel and I was not going to invent a wheel, but if you have any questions, you're welcome. If not, thank you for your attention.